Good morning, everybody. It's leg day. I'm getting ready to head out. Uh, workout today consists of uh, some adductor, abductor work, leg curls, leg extensions, and then I'm going to do eight sets of Bulgarian split squats with the X3. That's my, my main workout. Um, my workout, my pre post workout stuff has changed. I decided to, I want to go into deeper ketosis, so I dropped my carbs 100%. So I think today's day four with no carbs. My body weight's obviously dropped three or four pounds, but that's, that's just glycogen loss. Um, my carbs weren't real high. I was keeping them down. I went from like 100 grams a day down to about 50 grams a day. And then I said, screw it, I'm gonna go into a deeper ketosis and then just add 50 grams uh, back in on days that I work out, legs and back, things like that. And then about 30 grams on other days. Still training my arms every day and gaining about a rep every other day. So that, that's going all right. Uh, using the X3, doing the overhead tricep extension and the bicep curl. I'm shortening the white band, the original white band, quite a bit. I'm probably shortening it seven, eight inches or something. I, I'll talk more on that, the shortening of the band. Um, I just did a rough video talking about variable resistance of different kinds. Apologize if it's a little rough. It was a long day and I was trying to get the words out, but uh, I just wanted to get the main point across so people understand, you know, we can do a lot of different things with variable resistance. It doesn't just relate to, to one thing. And how important it is, if you really want to put on some muscle to pay attention to, putting some load into the negatives of the reps. That is really key to sneaking some muscle on the old frame. Um, just, a, just for entertainment purposes, my, my pre-workout, of course I got, I had two Humanifort and then I'm waiting a few minutes. And since I'm not eating any carbohydrates, I have, MCT oil. I put some of that in my iced coffee. Drink a cup of liquid egg whites. I got some fermented aminos and some creatine monohydrate. That's my pre workout. Everything's liquid so I don't have a gut full of food when I get there and I absorb it a lot faster. After my workout, I'll wait till I, I get hungry and then I'll have a, a solid food meal. I got some really lean, cheap steak. I'll probably eat a couple pounds of when I get hungry and then have a, a shot of olive oil. My olive oil consumption, I've upped a bit. I'm leaning out my meats, but uh, the olive oil, I'm up, up to a cup a day now. The creatine, mm -hmm. Just put it down the hatch. I'm gonna wanna mix it in a whole glass of something and make it taste funny. You know, Cretan, Cretan's not horrible, but uh, you don't wanna taste it in the whole drink. The MCT oil I put in my iced coffee and uh, it actually makes it taste a little better. But MCTs for uh, just in case you don't understand this, MCTs directly convert to ketones and we can't store them. So what our body, if our body doesn't burn some of it, it just, it burns off as heat or doesn't use some of it for energy. It actually burns off as heat, but the MCTs are really good for, you know, cognitive function, you know, brain energy, um, but it's, 
going to help me get through my workout without without a few the, the carbs to get a little energy don't a lot of guys that uh like i did it in the past the reason i'm saying this i want to help people out man when i first started dieting for bodybuilding competitions we ate like no energy sources hardly everything was overly lean like nothing it was just protein we ate tuna egg whites chicken breasts and not only would we have functioned better we would have kept more muscle by throwing in olive oil and mct oil i remember back then i had a buddy i'm like hey what this mct oil um can we have some of that in a diet and i i followed him and absolutely not fat makes you fat mct oil will not make you fat it just won't and it even if you're fasting a little bit of mct oil won't break the fast so if you let's say you're doing a two-day fast you have some fermented aminos like 10 grams of fermented aminos those aminos are actually gonna give your body some of what it needs and speed up autophagy which actually is going to burn more energy the process of breaking those dead cells down and shuttling stuff around that takes energy okay and before like you work out fasted okay so you train let's say one of the you're tr fasting like two days in a row and you're going to train one or two of them it's not only muscle sparing to have a little bit of mct oil but it'll give you some energy for your workout you'll feel a lot better we don't get an insulin spike from it it's not going to break the fast it might maybe briefly slow down the fat burning but with the way mct oil is it actually has been shown to possibly burn a little more fat people get really you know, the reason I don't go in the original X3 group anymore, you try to help people out with stuff like this and they, all these ignorant guys are like, that's not a fast. You broke the fast, whatever. No, if you've been fasting for 24 hours, let's say, and you had 10 grams of fermented aminos and like 10 grams of fat from some MCT oil, Nothing about that's really going to break the fast. And if it did, it's going to be at such a small amount. And within like an hour, your body's going to be like, well, what do we do now? We burned all that up. It's not like you just broke a fast as if you ate a huge meal. Your body's actually going to dip right back down where it was and pick up where it left off you could very slightly break fasts for for days one of the ways we used to get really shredded in a couple of weeks is like every three to four hours just have um a serving of like cod the only thing in that is protein literally it's like it's a fat-free white fish that protein is going to be sucked up and used and then your body is you're going to get actually even hungrier right your body goes right back into just burning shit loads of fat the the whole thing with if you have anything during a fast it just doesn't count as a fast i've had it it drives me nuts like i say i had a scoop of fortigen Guys would literally say that's not a fast or that's not a 48 hour fast. Now that's a 20 hour fast or whatever. No, once like 10, that little 10 grams of aminos is assimilated, you're, you're picking up right where you left off. What breaks a fast realistically, okay? Yeah, maybe you just a snapshot in time maybe slowed it down a touch but what you're doing is preserving muscle and even burning a little more fat because you're able to work out and break down those dead cells a faster and assimilate them into usable protein that your body when your body 
is building new tissue, that burns more energy than just sitting on your ass and, you know, not, not recuperating. So by doing these sorts of things, this is the stuff that I teach my clients, you're going to burn shitloads of fat, preserve muscle, and still be able to build muscle all at the same time. You know, you, can, you don't have to be afraid of uh, fasting and bodybuilding. It's actually very beneficial. Uh, the whole time you're fasting, your growth hormone levels are going up. You're breaking down all these dead cells. Your body is cleaning out your digestive system. All these really positive things are going on. So when you do eat again, your digestive tract is ready. And you're going to absorb so much more of the protein you eat. And the, the protein makeup that you're in a little deficit from is just going to be rapidly absorbed. As soon as those insulin levels go up, all that growth hormone, it's going to create IGF-1. It's going to be extremely anabolic. Cortisol at that point is going to just plummet. And you're going to take up shitloads of nutrients. Okay. Another thing is Humanifort will help balance out cortisol and all these hormones help you create even more IGF-1 it's going to uh, create a f uh, oh it's early I can't even think of the word but anyway it's, <laughs> it's going to create things in the gut like uh, BPC-157 it contains the thiamosin B4 these are all really good for healing and it's going to enlarge the villi in your small intestines so you absorb 18% more of the protein you eat. It's not gonna let cortisol get too out of hand. It'll keep things in range for where it's supposed to be. And Humanifort, actually the, the growth factors in it are what send the signal to break down the dead cells, okay? That's something I've learned recently, but the growth factors in Humanifort are responsible for the cell communication going on to tell your body to break those dead cells down and then assimilate them somewhere else. And then when you break the fast, Humanifort, because of the nature of it, is going to help you rebuild those old dead, those old dead cells that were broken down into new cells and they're going to be living fresh new cells it's extremely extremely anti-aging and so like fasting um i wouldn't i mean i would do it anyway but using humanophore with it is hands down the best way to go some fermented aminos Humanifort, some fermented aminos, a little MCT oil, and just keep training through your fasting. A lot of people are afraid to train through fasting. Don't be. As long as you're taking these little precautions with, you know, some fermented aminos and giving them to, I take them like every three to four hours when I'm fasting, just one, just 10 grams. And then around the workouts, just have a little MCT oil. You will lose every bit as much fat you're going to preserve muscle and then because of the benefits of your fasting, once you break it, all this is going to come together with the Humanifort and help you build more muscle. Your IGF-1 levels will be much higher. You're going to be more sensitive to testosterone, more sensitive to insulin. You're going to be uh, absorbing more protein. The cell communication in your body is going to be up. So all that cell restructure is going to um, be at a much higher degree. And that's the way to go, guys. So I, I hope some of this was helpful. I'm going to get my ass going here. The coffee's starting to kick in. And I'm starting to finally wake up a little bit. Have a good day.